Now you gotta push the button there. Hold it down. There you go. I'm a little inexperienced. You got it. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my name is Morgan. Um, when I asked to do my was asked to do my testimony, I um, first had to pray because I have so many things that I could focus on, and I was like, Lord, what do you want me to give? Um, and the first thing that popped up was um, my why. So um, I think we all kind of focus sometimes on um, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and there's all these awful things that happen, and um, it's not from God, but it's all these things. So my life had been um, for a lot of years where I kind of, that was my focus. So when I came from that, um, I really struggled with God works for all things, um, works all things for the good of those who love him. So when I changed my perspective on that, um, it all changed. So to give you a little bit of a backstory, um, I came from a Christian home. I went to Christian schools. Um, I had a great family. Um, I later found out, you know, I had an addictive personality and some, some um, anxiety and depression, and that was triggering things when I got into bad relationships and um, had a few traumatic things happen. Um, so my... Um, it turned out to be um, a lot of alcohol abuse for a lot of years, which transitioned into a lot of hard drugs and things like that for a lot of years. And when I started to fight, um, I came back to my roots, and I knew that the only way to fight was to, to have, um, go to my faith. So I actually came to Church at the Gate. That's where I started my fight. Um, my big transition, when I stopped fighting for myself, and I started letting Christ fight for me, and that's when I really Come on. became yeah. sure. So, um, understanding my why was really hard. I think my biggest thing was, I went through all of this, and you said that he'll use all things for your good, but you haven't opened the door to, like, let me travel the world with Todd White. You haven't got all these things, and nobody's given me anything for that. And so, I was like, what, what, is, what is my goal, or what is the goal here? What is the, and I needed a why to kind of justify um, why I went through all of it. Uh, and I, I went through Bible studies. I went through all these things um, at Church at the Gate. I healed. I learned. I grew. But I still felt like my life was kind of monotonous in a way. Like, I was a single mom. All I did was work. All I did was, you know, go to church. All I did was try and heal. And I was like, what are you doing with me? Use me, please. Um, and finally, I went I, two separate times. Um, I was prophesied over, actually, by Kathleen Harwell. Um, months apart. She doesn't remember the first one. Um, even that she saw foster care in my my plans and I was like <laughs> exactly I was like I've already got I had a, a 10 year old and I had an infant and I was a single parent household and I was like how you know like there's no way that I can do it there's no and you know how when he has a plan for you he puts it on your brain and he puts it in front of you and it's everywhere around you and whatever <laughs> and finally the second time she prophesied it I was like I told you I'd be obedient, so mm. let's do it. So I signed up for classes and um, became a foster parent. It's only been two years, but he's already made it evident to me that this is my why. Mm. Um, because I have an addictive personality, I'm obsessed with learning. So as soon as I love something, I read books and I read about trauma and I read everything. I went to every seminar. I went to everything that I could think of to learn about how I could do this the best way that I could. And in that, I learned how to heal my own traumas. Mm. Um, I been there with the addiction. I've been there with the abusive relationships. I've been there with all the awful stuff, not only for the kids, but for the parents. So he's placed families in my life that walk alongside how I can help them. I've prayed over moms. I've prayed for them. I've taught kids how to pray for their parents. We pray for um, breaking chains, um, lots of different trauma, how to, how to come, go past that and, and have Jesus lead instead. So um, my testimony is that I found my wife. Mm. Amen. Amen.